They are big, destructive. It's all around us. And as our climate continues to warm, we're still trying to wake some people up, get them out of here. They will get worse. We've watched as massive wildfires devour forests, towns, and neighborhoods, but their impact is felt much farther away. Because where there are flames, there's also smoke that can travel long distances. This season, we've watched it smoke from fires burning along the West Coast. Yeah. Fortunately, the haze is coming at the expense of some massive wildfires out west. Blue across the country. Yeah, it's a U.S.-wide problem. I mean, even if the fires are contained to the western U.S., we're seeing impacts across the continental U.S. It's a phenomenon Portland State University assistant professor Elliot Gall has been studying. So we've always known that, you know, large-scale wildfire events can impact entire regions and, in fact, have global impact. But I think as we see hotter and drier summers, we're seeing larger fires. And the larger the fire, the more its smoke will travel. Here's why. A large fire can actually generate its own weather and create conditions that allow the smoke to reach the upper levels of the atmosphere. Those upper levels are where you'll find the jet stream, strong and consistent winds that can push smoke over great distances, causing not only hazy conditions, but also serious health problems. As I understand, New York City saw an air quality index of over 150 during those few weeks when they were you know, impacted by the fires in the West. And that's a level that's sort of a, of acute concern to the general population. Gall and many scientists are tracking the movement of wood smoke through low-cost sensor networks like this one. This sensor here is called a purple air sensor. These sensors measure the levels of particulate matter in the smoke. You can see even in cities far from the wildfires. Okay, so let's pan over and take a look at what's happening in Denver. The levels are disturbingly high. So we're seeing air quality indexes of 140, 150. These are levels of outdoor particulate matter that the general population should be concerned about. Which raises the question, if a warming climate will lead to more and larger wildfires, is there anything we can do to protect ourselves? Experts say better forest management will be critical because once the fire starts, there is little that can be done to remove the pollutants from the atmosphere. What we can do, says Gall, is to at least remove them from our homes as much as possible. Preparedness is really key. Number one, invest in a mechanical filter, a filter that filters out those wood smoke particles. Secondly, purchase an air cleaner, something Gall says we should all have regardless. But if you purchase an air cleaner and use it regularly, there is a robust body of evidence that shows it will improve your health over the long term if you use it regularly. And lastly, create what's called a clean room in your home. Basically, selecting a zone in your home and emphasizing and focusing your resources in a small zone of your home like a bedroom. This is something even the EPA recommends we all do because scientists realize as our climate warms, large-scale fires will become more frequent. And so, you know, I don't think this is a Western U.S. problem. This is a global problem. This is a U.S.-wide problem. It's one we collectively need to work together and address. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.